Under mounting pressure, Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan announced Monday, not for the first time, a willingness to recognize Nagorno-Karabakh as part of Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan's territory includes Nagorno-Karabakh, but the issue of the rights and safety of Nagorno-Karabakh's Armenians should be discussed between Baku and Stepanakert. Stepanakert is the capital of Nagorno-Karabakh, a self-governing enclave of ethnic Armenians located within Azerbaijan that has been the focus of a decades-long conflict. A six-week war in 2020 saw Azerbaijan rout Armenian forces to regain control of large swaths of territory around the region's edges before a truce was declared. Recent months have seen tensions once again coming to a head as Azerbaijani activists have blockaded Nagorno-Karabakh's only land link with Armenia, the Lashin Corridor, for over five months, cutting off food, medical and military supplies, with Azerbaijani forces even setting up a checkpoint, contrary to the 2020 truce. Meanwhile, near-daily border clashes have proved deadly for heavily outgunned Armenian forces. Azerbaijan's strongman President Ilham Aliyev, with the upper hand, is seeking to cement his gains, the threat of a return to war still on the table. We believe that a peace agreement between our two countries is inevitable. We're doing our utmost to achieve it. Both former Soviet republics, Azerbaijan is now backed militarily by Turkey, while Armenia is a member of the Russian-led CSTO military bloc. With Russia focused on its grinding war in Ukraine, Moscow has been loath to antagonize its key economic partner, Turkey, leading to frustration in Armenia over what it sees as insufficient Russian support, Pashinyan floating the possibility of dropping out of the CSTO bloc altogether. Pashinyan and Aliyev are scheduled to meet Thursday for peace talks hosted by Vladimir Putin in Moscow.